everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a review, swatches, and comparison all about the brand new Wet n Wild highlighters. If you guys don't know, Wet n Wild recently came out with four new colors of their Mega Glow highlighting powders. I do have the original two, and these ones came out about a year ago, I want to say, and these were so popular. These were actually in limited edition at the time, and they brought them back to make them permanent because people love them so much. I did have a video on these. I'll link it up here if you guys want to go check it out. I love these highlighters to death. They're absolutely gorgeous. Precious Petals is like everyone's favorite. It's so stunning and everyone needs it. But they just recently released, again, four new colors. So I was able to get my hands on all four of them. I did order them on the Wet n Wild website. So I thought I would do some swatches for you all, give you guys my review. I also wanted to show you a comparison between all of these new shades with the original two as well as some of the limited edition ones that they recently come out with. I also was able to snag a couple more of these ones. So I do have two extra ones from this special collection that was like the hearts collection. So I have the sweetest blend as well as Lilac to Reality, which I will be giving away at the very end of the video. So if you're interested in getting your hands on these, make sure you stick around to the end so you guys can hear how you can win these. I am wearing two of the new colors right now. I kind of like layered them just because I wanted to make sure it kind of matched with my eye look today. I love them. They are so gorgeous. There is a little bit of an inconsistency with some of the colors in terms of formula, which I will go into in the review. But if you're curious to hear my review on these, as well as see some swatches and comparisons, then just keep on watching. As you all know, I do like to tell you all a little bit about the highlighters and the products before I just go straight into swatching them. So again, these are called the Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. These retail for $4.99. They are all still available on the Wet n Wild website. I don't know when they're coming in store. If they are, they probably will. These are new permanent shades, so these will not be limited edition from what I'm understanding. The design on these, they are the same with like that kind of flower imprint on all of the powders. You are getting the same amount of product in these new ones as compared to the old ones. So these are 0.19 ounces or 5 0.4 grams of product, which isn't a lot compared to some other ones. I have a Becca one right here. This is Champagne Pop, and this one has 8 grams or 0.28 ounces. So there's almost a 0.10 ounce difference in these highlighters. But again, they are only $4.99. So there is a big price difference between $4.99 and $38. This formula to me kind of reminds me of a Gelé, but it's not as Gelé as some of the other Gelé highlighters that I have. Like the Estee Lauder Heat Wave is a very, very Gelé powder. This kind of has that same consistency and formula, but it is a little bit more powder but it looks gorgeous on the skin. It kind of makes your skin look wet looking, which I think is really, really pretty. These are definitely more metallic and frosty than sparkly, if anything. They really reflect the light and flash photography. I took some earlier and it looked absolutely gorgeous. You could definitely tell that I was wearing a really intense highlight and I didn't even apply that much of this because it is so pretty and a little bit goes a long way with these. In terms of the formula and everything, I did want to quickly point out that the old highlighter, so Precious Petals and Crown of My Canopy, does have a different ingredient list than all four of these new ones. These new ones, to me, I do feel like, again, that kind of jelly formula where these ones definitely feel a little bit more powdery in my opinion, but I actually like these because I feel like they give your skin a little bit more of like a wet natural look rather than emphasizing texture or anything, which these didn't in general, but it kind of makes it look more natural and blend it into the skin, which I really, really like these. So the two colors that they already had, this is Precious Petals. This was everyone's favorite color. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's a nice champagne color with a hint of rose gold. Here is what Precious Petals looks like swatch. It is absolutely stunning. And then the other other existing one was called Crown of My Canopy. This is more of a deeper rose gold with some bronzy tones in it. This one is really pretty on deeper skin tones. So there is the swatch comparison. Again, Precious Petals is on the top and Crown of My Canopy is on the bottom. So getting into all the new colors, I'm going to start from the lightest and then move up to the deepest. So the first one they came out with is called Blossom Glow. This is one of the ones that I'm wearing on my cheekbones today. It is really, really pretty. So there is what Blossom Glow looks like. As you can see, the imprint is still the same on all of these new highlighters. This is a really pretty silvery icy pink. Here's a swatch of Blossom Glow. As you can see, it is really pretty. It is a little bit more icy than I was expecting it to be, but it does have that pink undertone, which is really pretty on the skin. Now, while I have this one swatched, I did want to compare it quickly to this one. This is called The Sweetest Bling. This came out in a limited edition collection, and I thought this was going to be very similar to it, if not the same. So I wanted to show you all the differences, as well as the similarities to the new one. Blossom Glow, which is the new one, is up at the top, and the other one, this one, is on the bottom. So as you can see, there is a little bit of a difference. It has more silver to it, and it is brighter compared to this one. They are both pink undertoned, but this one is definitely brighter and more in your face, where this one's a little bit more of a muted pink. They're quite similar, so if you already have this one, you probably don't need it. This next color is my 
absolute favorite one that they released. I'm obsessed with this just because I love a really good gold highlight. So this one is called Golden Flower Crown. I feel like this is going to be the most popular one out of all four of the new colors. Isn't this just stunning? It is so pretty. The formula of these is just so soft and creamy. They swatch so well. Here is Golden Flower Crown again. Isn't that just so stunning? I am a sucker for a good gold highlight, so this is my favorite one. I did want to quickly compare that to the Mega Glow Highlighting Gold Bar. This is Holly Goldhead. This was the holiday collection not too long ago. I also want to quickly compare it to Precious Petals just so you guys can see the differences. So here is a swatch of the limited edition one from the holidays. The top is the new release, and the bottom one is this one right here, which was really popular. And they are quite similar, but I as you can see, there is a tad bit of a difference. This new one is a little bit lighter than the Holly Gold Head. The bottom one from the holidays was a little bit more of a peachy gold. It's still gold. It reminded me a lot of Champagne Pop, but this top one is not as peachy. It's a little bit more of a lighter gold, which I think will flatter a lot more skin tones. I just had to show you guys the differences between the new one as well as Precious Petals. Precious Petals I swatched at the top, and then the newer one is in the middle right here. Precious Petals definitely pulls more of like a rose gold kind of peachy champagne where this is a true gold. The next color we have is called Botanic Dream. This one is really, really interesting. This is a gorgeous pink with a kind of a lilac purple undertone to it and I was not expecting to see that when I put it on my skin. I'm wearing this one towards the top of my cheekbones and then the lighter pink towards the bottom. This one pulled quite lilac on my skin tone with the undertones of this. It's still really pretty but this one is also really, really unique. I don't have anything like this in my collection. This kind of reminds me of Prismatic Amethyst by Becca, which I personally do not have. I just don't think I'd get much use out of it. But this is just such a fascinating color. It's really hard to explain. So here's what it looks like. As you guys can see, it doesn't look purpley, but then when you swatch it and kind of blend it out, there is a little bit of this like lilac-y purple undertone to it, which is really pretty and really, really unique. So there is Botanic Dreams. If you want to get more of the kind of pinkiness of this rather than just the undertone, I would definitely recommend wetting your brush first with this on it and then going in to really kind of build it up and layer it up so you can see both the pink and the kind of lilac-y undertone that it has. If you don't think you can wear this as a highlighter, definitely rock it as an eyeshadow. I think it's just such a pretty color. Last but not least, we have Royal Calyx, I think it's called. This is the kind of like purpley blue tone color. This is what I was a little bit nervous about because I don't really wear highlighters like this, but I thought I would get used out of it as an eyeshadow and I also wanted to review it for you guys because I thought this was going to be super similar to this one. This is the color Lilac to Reality again. Same collection as the Sweetest Bling one came out with. I think this was from the Spring Collection. So I thought this was going to be so similar to this one, but I wanted to show you the comparisons between them because they aren't as similar as I thought. This is the only formula that I really would pass on. The formula of this one is a little bit drier and chunkier, and you have to really, really build it up to even get some color payoff, which I didn't really like. The color is very pretty. I think this would definitely work better as an eyeshadow, at least for me, because this is going to be really hard to wear as a highlighter. But it is very, very unique. You have to admit that. So that is what the color looks like. Here is it swatched. It is really kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen a color like this in a highlighter where it has this kind of like light blue lilac shift to it. It's really, really interesting, but I wanted to compare it to this one because I know a lot of you already have this. So again, this one was called Lilac to Reality. There is the swatch comparison. So the top one is the new one. The bottom one is this one from the limited edition collection. Royal Calyx is definitely a lot deeper than this one, which I actually prefer this one to use as a highlight. I thought it looked really pretty, but this one's a little bit too deep again to use as a highlight, but on deeper skin tones, I think this would be absolutely amazing for like an editorial look. But again, I think a lot of people will find most use out of this as an eyeshadow. So I think you could probably skip on this one. The other three, I definitely would recommend. The formula on all three of these is amazing. They're so creamy. They're pigmented. If you wet them with a setting spray or Fix Plus or anything beforehand, they are going to be so insanely pigmented and just glide on your skin because they're so creamy. They are really easy to build up as well and again they give your skin this kind of like wet metallic look. So out of all three of them if I had to pick just one for a majority of people I think this is going to be the winner because I think it's going to just work on a variety of different skin tones as well as undertones. So if you are super duper fair but you also have a pink undertone this will still look really pretty on you because sheared out it will just give your skin a little bit more of like a candlelit glow but if you also have a more medium tan or deeper skin tone this is also going to look gorgeous on you because the shift in this is just 
just absolutely gorgeous. So Golden Flower Crown is my number one pick. You guys all have to go grab this one. It's going to be a hot seller, I can guarantee you. And I also think the other one that's going to be really popular is Blossom Glow, this really light kind of frosty pink. This one is also really pretty. I think this would also work for a lot more fair skin tones. It's really hard to find a good light enough highlighter from the drugstore that will work on a lot of different fair and pale skin tones. So this one is so pretty. It has the right amount of pink in there where it's not going to look like you have a pink streak on your face, but it does just give you that kind of pink hint with the kind of silvery white glow. It is absolutely stunning. So this is going to be number two for me. So I would definitely recommend picking these up. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I will be doing a little giveaway with these two highlighters. I was able to snag a couple more when I saw them in store. So this is what these two swatches look like again. I will be giving both these away to one lucky subscriber. If you do want to win these two highlighters, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel as well as give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. It can be about anything you want. It doesn't have to be about makeup or highlighters. It can be whatever you want just so I know who wants to enter. So I will leave all the rules down below just to make it a lot easier for you all so you guys can go read those as well as all the links for the highlighters that I mentioned from Wet n Wild so you all can go check them out if you want to. They are all still in stock but I definitely would pick up one if you have an eyeing one because we all know how popular the other two highlighters were when they first came out. These ones are going to sell like hotcakes as well. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all really liked it. I know a lot of you were asking me if I was going to pick up these highlighters and make a video on them. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you also check out the description box so you don't miss out on the giveaway if you want to enter. I love you all so very much. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!